of the battle as a slap hitter is getting out of the box. It's one thing to perfect the different types of slaps, our bounce slap, soft slap, hard slap, but we must practice getting out of the box. And I have some tips for you. One of the most common mistakes with slap hitters is not being continuous through the box. And what that means is that they go to make contact and then they have to pick up speed. So one of the things to think about what you're not doing is maybe you're starting too soon, you're starting too early. So the best way to correct this is to start as late as possible. Remember, we want to go from zero to 60. So as we go through the box, we want to be gaining speed, picking up speed, because once I make contact, I wanna already be busting out of that box at top speed. Another tip that can help you with getting out of the box fast is focusing on your first three steps. So something that you can do is focus on your first three steps and put a marker down, put a cone, put a ball, put something, or you could even draw a line in the dirt. But try to do this repeatedly and try to beat yourself. Try to see if you can gain and cover more ground on your first three steps because if you're getting more continuous, you're getting out of the box and you're getting out as hard as you possibly can, your three steps should be further and further along. Another way to gauge if you are getting out of the box as fast as you can and getting down that line is to count how many steps it takes you from contact until you hit first base, how many steps it takes you to get down the line and do this repeatedly and see if you can beat yourself because if you do this over and over and over again, you're going to get that feel of getting from contact to top speed as fast as you possibly can. Lastly, for a great tip on getting out of the box is make practice more game-like. The more you make it game-like and you don't just go through your reps in the box in batting practice, actually incorporate having contact and running down the line and seeing if you could do this all the time because the more you make practice more game-like, the more that it becomes muscle memory and the more that it becomes instinctual for you to get out of the box as fast as you can. To recap what we talked about on some tips to get out of the box, again, remember, make sure that we are continuous at contact, that we are not stopping making contact and picking up speed. Being in continuous is going to help us get out of the box. Also think about remembering our three first steps out of the box are going to be important to build so that we are getting to top speed. Again, measure how far you are getting on your first three steps and see if you can beat yourself. And last but not least, count how many steps it takes you to get down to first base. Compete against yourself, beat yourself. I know that when I was playing, my best steps were about 11 to 12. See if you can beat your steps down the line. Make sure you subscribe, you like, you comment, you share. Let me know other videos that you would like to see and I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining.